The new player's irons of today look pretty different from a traditional blade when you see them sitting in the rack at the store, especially when you look at it from behind. There's some perimeter weighting going on here, and some brands also put dampening materials behind the sweet spot to make the club feel better at impact. But when you put a club like this, the Titleist CB Forged, down next to a pure blade, like the Adams Idea Pro Black, and you look at them at a dress, you can see that they're pretty much identical. They both have the same short blade length, they both have a thin top line, and very little offset. Now, as we recently reported in Golf Digest, there are still a lot of traditionalists out there, both pros and amateurs, who are afraid to go to a club like this because they don't think they'll be able to work the ball as well from left to right and right to left because of what's going on in the back of the club head. And that's where they're a little misguided because perimeter weighting really has nothing to do with how easy it is to create draws and fades with an iron. It's all about the length of the blade. Now, the shorter the blade length, the closer the center of gravity of the golf club is to the hosel of the club. The hosel is the neck. And the closer that CG is to the hosel, the easier it is to manipulate the blade through impact and control whether it's open or closed. So, shorter the blade length, easier it is to produce draw and, draws and fades. And if you put this new player's iron up next to the pure blade, you can see that blade lengthwise, they are exactly the same. So really, there's no difference there. And let's think about this. 75% of PGA Tour players are playing with the new player iron type of clubs these days. If they're doing it, why aren't you? Something to think about.